Change, John, and they've got to get it in and lock it in. McRae went super short. Pinsky fed it out wide. Johnson, Johannesson on the charge. This is where he does his best work. There with Matty Suckling as well, the shake of the hands, but that's what it is. Off half back, Johannesson with the launch. He's been good from that position all year in terms of he's hit the scoreboard himself. He scored assists a ride up as a general defender. And that's why he's got to get on his bike and go. So clearly they think they've got a couple of his mates. Well, little Caleb Daniel took the footy and sent it inside 50 to Dunkley. Well, that was one of his finest. Dunkley and Big Tim English comes wobbling out to take the mark. This would be a good time right now to start getting them straight. He kicked it straight. As a result of that, the dogs go forward. Oh, good effort. Lloyd steps around. Lloyd lines up and just misses. Well. Regularly to move it from one arc to the other. Pittard's on the bike now, but he just <laughs> was given a chance to release the handball. Liberatore and the Bulldogs screaming for a free kick. It leaks out the back for Larky, who lets it go all the way, and it's bounced in on in through. On, but I'm not too sure. Tries to take on. Knees hit the ground did first. It, did it, was it a handball? Well, it's normally the indication if you take on and your knees hit the ground, you're done. You're gone. That stage was it touched. And we'll look here. Was this ball touched? No, straight over the top. So that's a clear goal. So Anderson gets the goal. Oh, maybe not. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I thought Larky should have just made sure. It might be Yeah, I agree back. with you, Ed. Larky should have just got the toe to it from that contest. Yeah. And he ended up with Jamonda, then Cunnington, and then Zeebel. And finally, Atley. Numbers congregate. There's lots of marking targets there. And which way is the free going? To North, North Melbourne. Yeah. He'll get there eventually. Oh, oh yeah. just started a bit. To the races. Zerhard's there over the top. Uniac. In the goal square. Jared called it 10 minutes before it happened. And David Uniac goes back from the forward pocket now. Is he the bloke to have the kick? Fashions the kick. Magnificent shot. Kicks the goal. The kangaroo. And this is Simpkin out of that congestion. So he's the only one who took off. Western Bulldogs were watching the ball. Simpkin with an assertive play. Oh, and they are out. Great call, Jono. Have a look at this over the top. Dumont gives it across to Atley. Little chip kick. And that was very, very, very good football from the North Melbourne Football Club. And Mason Wood goes back for a game high 32 point lead. The left foot kick is a beauty. Splits the middle. Can the Bulldogs break out of there? Not with any conviction. English's hands were terrific. Norton gave one more. Lipinski been in a lot today, and that's one of his best bits of play as he identified what was on offer, and Johannesson gives a gift to Bailey Smith. Now he chips it over the top. Liberatore, here's Hunter. He can really go for home. No, he goes short with a kick. Out the back of the pack. Dunkley has three to beat. Four. Gets the handball. It was a good one, too. Inside. McLean, the duckies head. Umpire said, play on. Liberatore! Yes! Yes! Gets the goal to keep this game alive. This was in that third turn, beaten there by Joe Anderson. Back for Bonton to Pally to decide where to go next. It's Dunkley short to English. It's measured beautifully. And English takes the grab. So this is one that they need to address and get a few more clear few more turnover goals as well. To make it three in a row, the big Ruckman. Oh. Perfect English. Back to 14 points. Another, and we are back to a 14-point ball game with a half, a quarter of football to go here. Half an hour of football yet to play, and Bonton Pelly announces himself to Marvel Stadium, and so does English. Oh, that is magnificent midfield work. <laughs> For two in a row, two in a minute, English comes in. And kicks the goal! Doggies have kicked the last four. As he inspires his teammates to bigger and better things oh, with play like that. He's starting to get into the game. Jared, you've called for that at three-quarter time. The kick is inside 50 at the back. Lloyd is into the open goal. Make it five in a row. He runs in and kicks it. He kicks the goal. The dogs are within two points. No mark for Cordy. Play on, though. Still an opportunity. McRae! Perfect delivery for Lloyd. And Lloyd to prosper again. 
to make it six in a row. The Bulldogs are in front. At the moment, Suckling wanted it. Now the little chip kick is a beauty inside and Lipinski can go back and have a shot. Big kick from 48 metres. That's offline, still a mark opportunity, thumped through. Ed from Higgins, he's angled the kick, Ben Brown looms. Oh, great mark. He right loom kick. large. They've given up four consecutive goals in this quarter alone after two before the break. Oh. It has to stop here and now, and it does. Three goals for Ben Brown. Plenty of movement. Dangerous position, Larky. Pollock found a way. So they've turned it back around the kangaroo. And they've been able to do it through winning the ball in congestion, tight, yep. clean it. Clean. And he's in front by eight points. Cardiff Daniel has given a gift back to Kane Turner. Turner. Tell you what's a brave man using your left foot when you can use your right. Laid it off, Higgins, top of the square. Lucky! Just do that. He stands the mark, he'll be hurting. And the hurt grows as Lucky makes sure of it. From the Kangaroos. Does, if anyone can. Ooh. It was well picked up by Kane Turner on kick. She was a great kick. Didn't oh. quite get it, Dale. Right, McDonald over the top, this could be the game. Lucky from 40, and puts it through! Brad Scott's last game. Led by this man here, the captain. Not on the stat sheet, but he's been great. All right. Davies Uniaki back on. Higgins. How fitting it would be for him to set up the goal that ends the game. We'll speak to Brad Scott after the game. Of course, the media conference tomorrow with the president, Ben Buckley. But to wrap this up in a nice bow, Thomas comes in and puts it right through the middle for his second. And it's game over. The Kangaroos are going to fix up the doggies here at Marvel. Yeah, quite symbolic. Tam Taron Thomas uh, kicks that goal. There's uh, one minute and 28 seconds to go before a new... Third's late to really finish off the Bulldogs here in style. And this man, Sean Higgins, has been pivotal to it all. He <laughs> drives into the pocket. Zeebel takes the mark. And Brad Scott lets a little bit of emotion out. Face to deliver the ball to like Zeebel did then. And he passes it off to Pollock. He hits darts. Takes his time to settle. Kicks through the ball. Just, oh, a little clip of the big white post. Yeah. And there's the siren. And there's Brad Scott. It finishes for him now. His last moments as the coach of the Kangaroos.